welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. This week's game is between Pace Academy and Cedar Grove. Both are very good teams. Both have records of four and two. Last year, Pace Academy won the state championship. I think I'm going with Pace Academy this week, so I'm picking Pace Academy over Cedar Grove. It was a beautiful October fall evening in DeKalb County. When I arrived at this football stadium, fans were definitely excited about this upcoming matchup between number nine, Cedar Grove, and number four, Pace Academy. Just watch as the players warm up.
top of the first quarter, after the opening kickoff, Cedar Grove takes possession. Cedar Grove showed a sense of urgency. Watch how they move the ball systematically down the field for a Cedar Grove touchdown. The extra point was good. After the kickoff, Pace Academy takes possession. Despite their best efforts, they could not punch the ball into the end zone. They eventually turn the ball over on downs. After the exchange possession between football teams, City Grove has possession of the football. During this possession, watch how the Saints march down the field for a Cedar Grove touchdown. The extra point was good. After the kickoff, Pace Academy has possession. It was more of the same, meaning that they were unable to punch the ball into the end zone. Therefore, they had to punt the ball to see the ground. After the punt, Cedar Grove has possession. Watch how Cedar Grove's running back darts down the field, 90 some yards for a Cedar Grove touchdown. The extra point was good. After the kickoff, Pace Academy had possession. They were eventually forced to punt the ball. And look what happens. After the kickoff, Pace Academy has possession. Despite their best efforts, they were unable to score and eventually turned the ball over to see the growth. Halftime score was 28-0, Cedar Grove up. Cedar Grove went on in the second half to score three unanswered touchdowns, which shut out Pace Academy. Here is how it went down.
Cedar Grove was the victor. Well folks, I'm a little surprised. I thought this was going to be a more competitive football game between the number 9 and number 14 in the state in Class 3A. However, it appeared to me that Cedar Grove dominated this game on both sides of the ball, for offense and defense. That's all I got to say about that. Well folks, until next time, Take care and God bless. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Three, two, one. Take me to your football game.